Hi guys, so today we're having a look at the new plumping gloss from NYX. It's called Filler Instinct. I love the name, I think it's hilarious. Um, these are, the packaging's just so cute. I'm not a big fan of gold, but I just like what they've done with the lid there. These are $6.50 in the UK or £7, $7 in the States, sorry. And you get 2.5 mils. There are six shades available. I've got the sixth one, which is called Major Mouthage. Um, so the other ones are Let's Glaze, which is a very, very sheer um, pale one. Brunch Drunk, which looks like it's got a little bit of gold to it. Sparkling Please, which is a very milky looking pink. Cheap Frills, which is a kind of champagne-y looking. New Money, it's gold. And then Major Mouthage. So what they say about it on the website is Unveil a pouty mouth using our new Filler Instinct Plumping Lip Polish including a slightly arched applicator This luxurious lippy cuddles up to your kisser as you swipe It covers lips in glowy shine while making them look plump, smooth and absolutely beauty full with two L's Choose from six super sheer hues featuring five pearly polishes plus a versatile clear gloss that minimise the appearances of lines and refuse to feather. Try on your favourite tone alone or over a lipstick. So having a quick look at the ingredients, there is menthol in here which will be the pump plumping ingredient. So if you know you have a sensitivity to that, steer clear, don't do it. Um, but I have tried this out today, we've got an application, a bit of a before and after, and let's see how that goes. Right, so we're crazy zoomed in so we can see really how my lips are looking. Uh, I'm just going to wipe a little bit of that foundation off because it's obviously a bit of a barrier, which could affect the plumping ingredients from reaching my lips. So we've got this quite long doe foot applicator and yeah. So this is a very thick feeling gloss. So that's, if you don't like that, I mean, uh, let's see. Yeah, um, if you're not a fan of the thick feeling glosses, stay clear of this one. It definitely falls in that category. The applicator is really nice for getting an accurate lip line, which I would say is important with a plumping gloss because um, obviously if it goes out onto your skin it can irritate it and then that can cause redness and you know, wouldn't be a good look. Um, so it's quite sheer but there's still definitely colour there. Um, I really like that. Uh, what does this smell like? I'm not smelling anything off of that, which for some people is a good thing, for some people is a bad thing. You know yourself what your stance is on that. So I can feel a tiny bit of a tingle. It's definitely not an intense one. Um, my lips look fuller, but I think it's more the texture of the gloss than any actual plumping at this point. Um, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to go and get changed because I'm still in my pyjamas. I'll go get changed and we'll come back and see you know, how it's looking um, and you know, just let's see. Right, so we're crazy zoomed in so we can see really how my lips are looking. Uh, I'm just going to wipe a little bit of that foundation off because it's obviously a bit of a barrier which could affect the plumping ingredients from reaching my lips. So we've got this quite long doe foot applicator. And yeah. So this is a very thick feeling gloss. So that's, if you don't like that, I mean, uh, let's see. Yeah. Um, if you're not a fan of the thick feeling glosses, stay clear of this one. It, Definitely falls in that category. The applicator is really nice for getting an accurate lip line, which I would say is important with a plumping gloss. 
Um, because obviously if it goes out onto your skin, it can irritate it and then that can cause redness. And, you know, wouldn't be a good look. Um, so it's quite sheer, but there's still definitely colour there. Um, I really like that. Uh, what does this smell like? I'm not smelling anything off of that, which for some people is a good thing, for some people is a bad thing. You know yourself what your stance is on that. So I can feel a tiny bit of a tingle. It's definitely not an intense one. Um, my lips look fuller, but I think it's more the texture of the gloss than any actual plumping at this point. Um, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to go and get changed because I'm still in my pyjamas. I'll go get changed and we'll come back and see you know, how it's looking um, and you know, just let's see. Right, so we're back. Um, the tingling has intensified and I do think these look quite luscious for me. So yeah, so far I am quite happy with this. I'm going to wear it throughout the day just so I can get an idea of, you know, how the gloss wears, how much I have to reapply, whether reapplying gets irritating at any point. And yeah, so at the moment the time is 20 to 11. Oops, my mum's meant to be arriving in 20 minutes and I haven't filmed some other sections of this video. Um, so yeah, I'm going to go out and about with this and I will come back and report in and see what the final impression is. But at the moment, I quite like it and I like this colour. So, I'll be back. Right, so I'm back with my final thoughts in different makeup, which you might have noticed. Um, so, a couple of reasons for that. The first one being that the first day I was wearing this, I had a spot breakout right on my lip line and I wasn't sure if it was related to this or just coincidence so I took a couple of days for the spot to go away then I started wearing this again to see if it would happen again and it hasn't so I've worn this quite a few days now and definitely wasn't related to that it was just a bad coincidence in terms of reapplying this throughout the day as you reapply it the kind of tingly stingy sensation does get more intense and it does happen a little bit quicker um, throughout the day but overall I really 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 love this if you're not a fan of sticky gloss I mean it is a very thick formula but the thing with gloss is you've either got the choice of you know a thin gloss that's not going to last or thick and sticky but it lasts because it's sticking to your lips and the other thing is I think with plumping formulas especially I think I might prefer the thick and sticky just so it doesn't run outside your lip line and irritate the skin there. Um, but this colour is absolutely amazing. I've worked with so many different looks and it's just kind of worked with all of them. And you know, it just makes my lips look so nice. I want to wear it every day. Um, I hope they bring out more colours to this range um, because it's just such a nice gloss and it has a nice plumping effect. So for me this is firmly into the goodbye category. I'm so excited and yeah. If you've got any questions leave them down below and I will get back to you. Uh, I'm sorry I wasn't here on Friday. Like I said filming for this kind of went a bit all over the place and then my mood just wasn't the greatest again. <sighs> what can you do? Um, if any of you haven't seen, look I got a microdermal and I love it. Um, do, do, do. Ooh, also actually on a not that related note, remember I got this in my um, unboxing? It's so gorgeous on! Right, so any questions about this product, leave them down below. If you get any requests for any other reviews, they can go down there too. And I will see you guys later. Bye!